Michael Jackson is referred by many as the king of pop and one of the greatest entertainers of all time. Performing for over six decades, Michael's ever-changing appearance was always a topic of conversation and controversy. One aspect of Michael's appearance that heavily goes unmentioned is the evolution of his hair. From froze to curls to wigs, Michael has made many changes in hair choices, whether to keep up with trends or to accommodate the need to conceal well-documented medical injuries that cause damage to his scalp. Today, we'll be going back in time and taking a look at the evolution of Michael Jackson's hair. When Michael first jumped onto the scene as a member of the Jackson 5, it was the late 1960s, which meant all the rage in black hair was the afro going into the 70s. Eras before saw black and brown performers assimilating to their white counterparts, and with the empowerment of the civil rights movement, artists chose to express their hair in a way that showed black pride. Michael and his brothers proudly rocked their froes and pioneered the movement for other black artists to do the same. Till this day, many publications mention Michael's fro when discussing the best afros of all time. When it came to reinventing himself for the release of his Off The Wall album, Michael went for a shorter and curlier look. Playing with different techniques, products, and styling methods, Michael wanted to embrace his hair's natural texture when wet. Michael shared some of his secrets to getting his tresses on point, like using water for a glistening look, hairpins to keep his hair down and maintain his parting, and his hate for any type of hair mousse. Little did Michael know that when it came time to promote his Thriller album, a revolution in black hair would further allow him to express the curls he loved. The Jerry Curl, which was invented by Jerry Redding, gave the wearer a glossy, looser curl look and was an alternative to the perm, which was more time consuming and much more damaging to the hair. Michael rocked the Jerry Curl shorter on the top and longer in the back, with cascading curls in the front with a side part and his baby hair slicked down to meet his sideburns. It's one of, if not the most iconic of Michael's looks. His career took on new heights and Thriller became Jackson's first number one album, spending 37 non-consecutive weeks on Billboard's top LPs and tape charts and sold over 32 million copies and those curls were front and center. Things take a turn in Michael's hair journey when filming a commercial for Pepsi went horribly wrong. The day was January 27th, 1984, at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. In front of an audience of 3,000 assembled to create a concert environment, Michael was dancing to his hit, Billie Jean. After five takes for the commercial, the director wasn't happy, wanting the pyrotechnics to go off closer to Michael at the top of the steps. During take six, Michael's life and hair would change forever when his hair caught on fire, leaving Michael with a permanent bald spot and the burns were so severe he would never be able to grow hair in that area again. Singer Michael Jackson is back home tonight after suffering burns to his head last night during the filming of a Pepsi TV commercial. Jackson was dismissed from the hospital today against the advice of his doctor. He has uh, both second and third degree burns of the scalp. Fortunately, the third degree uh, component is relatively small. This leads us to Michael reinventing himself once again, but this time in the most drastic way ever. Michael was diagnosed with a skin condition called vitiligo and due to his severe burns, resorted to wearing weaves and extensions to conceal his bald spot. We were introduced to Michael's new look during his bad air with longer, looser hair thanks to products like perms. He still maintained looser curls while also sporting his side part. While touring, Michael was introduced to hairstylist Carol Lemire through his sister Janet, who was prominently known for her work in the fashion industry and other celebrity clients. Janet said to him because she did Janet Jackson's hair. She would style it because I only do certain things. So she had told him about me because I put I can do hair pieces and a lot of people say I'm the best in the world. I don't I don't know if I am. So that's how I met him. I did meet him to Karen Faye. 
And we just got to talking, and I seen what the problem was, where he got burned, and told him what I could do. And from then, I started working with him. I got rid of different people, because I don't really care who somebody is. I'm not going to let anybody overcharge them. And as time progressed, I felt they were overcharging him for the product that I was putting on him. When Michael once again wanted to reinvent his look in the 90s, Carol was there to oversee the customization of wigs and extensions to suit a blown out look that Michael was known to rock until the day of his unfortunate passing. Michael's signature look had became shoulder length lace fronts parted down the middle. For a short period, he sported a shorter version of the wigs with volume at the top, which many speculated he wanted to resemble his close and dear friend, Elizabeth Taylor. The medical team who performed the autopsy for Michael revealed Michael's original hairline was tattooed and led to further thinning of Michael's already troubled scalp. The state of Michael's hair was sparse, and the majority of it was at the crown. Through multiple eras, Michael has shown us the power of transformation of reinventing your look through hair and will leave a lasting impression for generations and honestly, it doesn't get more iconic than that. This was the evolution of Michael Jackson's hair. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at the Curl Poppy. See you guys next time.